The first round of baby formula from overseas arrived in the United States. A military plane carrying 78,000 pounds of formula touched down in Indianapolis yesterday. That's enough formula to fill half a million baby bottles. It's part of Operation Fly Formula, which aims to restock shelves in the states by importing from other countries. Several factors led to the current shortage of formula here in the U.S., the most significant being the shutdown of a major baby formula production plant in Michigan after the FDA found contamination in formula at that facility. As the U.S. rebuilds supply, some are targeting families desperate to feed their babies. Yeah, the Federal Trade Commission warning families about people offering formula online only to take your hard-earned money and never deliver. KSHB 41 News reporter Leslie Delaswar spoke with a tech expert and a pediatrician about red flags. Because anytime there's a crisis, cyber criminals are always looking at ways that they can make money. Even during this baby formula shortage. So it doesn't take much to go in the marketplace, take photos of baby formula and then post them online in order to lure people to trick them out of their money. With store shelves empty, tech expert Burton Kelso says don't trust everything you see online. Uh, because criminals will take ads out on Google searches, so those ads will actually appear before a legitimate source on Google. Kelso also says check reviews, company history, keep track of shipping, and use a credit card instead of a debit card to pay. Getting strange demands for like gift cards for payment or even asking to be paid in cryptocurrency, that definitely should be a sign that you need to leave that website. And if you are indeed scammed when purchasing baby formula, you're more able to get your money back quickly with a credit card than you would be with, say, a debit card. Most importantly, stick with larger well-known sites and be cautious when it comes to third-party vendors. People that turn to reputable online retailers that have third-party vendors need to be aware as well because sometimes the vendors that are listed on Amazon may be an actual criminal. However, understanding that families are desperate, Dr. Kristen Soule says your pediatrician is your best resource to find formula outside of the Internet. Other resources, so the WIC offices in all of our communities, that stands for women, infant, and children. Those are often resources, especially for those who may have less resources than others. That's going to be an important piece. They can be useful. Your health departments can be useful, as well as your pediatrician, family physician, primary care offices. With families fighting to feed their babies and online criminals taking advantage, Dr. Soul adds it's important families think about others in need. Is to not hoard those supplies. We get how scary this is, but trying to think about 10 days to two weeks um, in front of ourselves is a really important thing to think about. So just buying what you need uh, is a really hard thing to do, and yet something that's really important. In Kansas City, Leslie Dellisport, KSHB 41 News.